Hello, come on in. Hello, hello, hello. Hello and welcome to another show home tour. And today we are filming for Shropshire Homes. We are in Wheaton Aston. Ooh. We're actually at Ivetsy Fields and we are in a Grasmere house type, which is a four bedroom home. Ooh. So we are very excited to see this house. Let's have a look this way at the hallway. We'll talk about the doorway in a moment, but I just want to explain a little bit about today's visit. We are actually filming over two different developments, but the same house types. There's also some amazing extras as well, so we'll talk about those in a second. Mm. Let's concentrate on this door. So, it's actually a very, very nice door. It is, it's, it's very bright. It's privacy glass, but it's actually, if you look at the pattern on it, the frosting on it is, is very country. Yeah, very it's country. like flowers. Yeah, because we are in a very country location right now. We are. We'll talk about that as well in a second. And you've got a side window, side panel. You've got your security uh, peephole and your latch and your security lock and your letterbox. Okay. So you come in and immediately you've got quite a spacious hallway. Yes. It's obviously the run of the stairs going up. I really like the way that they've done this, this coach area. Yeah. Because it's an entire, I mean, how many pegs have you got here? So many, and it's two-tone. <laughs> yeah, would you, it's, yeah, it's wallpaper, and then you've got some paintwork, and you've got a radiator below. There is space, I think, for a shoe unit over here. There's plugs. Yeah. And, yeah, you've got the, the white switches, and also a little bed, which I think is quite nice, be able to put a little pot on or something. Um, again, you could have whatever light fixture you wanted there. Okay. But no, it's um, lovely. One thing I do want yeah. to say about it as well is the smell in this house. Mm, it's it is, gorgeous. It's a very good smelling house. Yeah. <laughs> it really, really is. A little word about the area. We are kind of semi-rural in Wheaton Aston. There's amazing uh, schools nearby and you're in a really good location to go to Birmingham, Wolverhampton, all local amenities. So this is a really amazing area with some fields and horses and all kinds of things. Right, around. and only a five minute drive from two motorways and also yeah. apparently there's a pub that sits along the canal as well. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah canal, pubs, this is an amazing location. Should we very quickly mention what comes to standard on the outside of this house? Absolutely. Because as standard with Shropshire Homes, there is an electric car charging point, Ooh. which is amazing because you know they are very forward thinking, and you know the <laughs> rise, the rise of the electric car, they have you, they have you yeah. covered. You have you, they have you future proof. They do. It's future proofing at its finest. Perfect. Okay. Right. Let's, let's head in into the living room. Ooh. Oh wow. Okay. It, this is it, lovely. It's nice and bright and light. It is. They've gone with a really good colour scheme and it's yeah, absorbing it's really all beautiful. the light. Um, I mean, one of the things we have seen in show homes recently is very bold yes. choices and designs. This is really calming. The wallpaper. I love it. Um, is that, oh, it's like a poppy. I think that's a poppy head. Ah. That's really, really cute. That is. Yeah. So there's ample space for TV. Um, on the wall, you could have it mounted on a unit. Um, there is a beautiful bay window. Look oh at wow, this. look at that, that's uh, a deep window. Yeah, they have a single chair in front of it. I think you could have a love seat, which is like... The snuggle chair. Yeah, thing. snuggle chair, love seat. Um, it's a really nice bay window, and the sun is shining today. <laughs> it is, so it's very it's, bright. The sun is streaming in through the window. They've just got blinds, there's no curtains. No. Um, so they've just gone for blinds, and which is actually a really modern way of doing window dressings. Not everyone has curtains these days. So that's really nice to see an example of that. There's a radiator behind um, and plenty of plugs because you've got all sockets down there. I think you've got a phone, phone point. Perfect. And is there anything behind the TV? There's some plugs down this side. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I can see. There. So if you had a sound bar, the TV, you can all, all be plugged in. in. Let's just have a look down the back of the sofa. Um, Yep, there's plugs, there's plugs Perfect. there as well. Perfect, and there's some plugs in this corner as well because there's a lamp that's plugged yeah. in. And you have an additional, if I just close the door, you've got an additional radiator here. So with the door closed as well, by the way, these doors are standard. Um, and I mean, you could have a mirror there as well. You could, that would really reflect the light in, yeah. wouldn't it? I just love the fact it's so bright yeah. and light. Yeah. The light picture as well. Oh, it's lovely. It, yeah. It's very minimalist in a way. Yeah. And just to get, uh, so you've got a sense of the size of the room, there is quite a chunky coffee table here. Oh yeah. You could also have a footstool as well. Um, but yeah, this is quite a sizable room. By the way, we will put all room sizes and dimensions and the floor plan at the end of the video. 
Okay. This is lovely. By the way, the carpet as well feels quite a nice mm. quality carpet. Okay, shall we move on? Let's continue. Yes. Okay, so going through. Oh, there's a thermostat as well. Oh, Honeywell? Yeah, Honeywell. Honeywell. Okay, let's go into. Kitchen the diner. Kitchen. Ooh. Okay, this is basic. So it runs across the whole uh, width of the house, apart from there's a utility at the back as well. We'll go have a look at that in a minute. We'll have a look in a moment. Um, now, I'm going to insert some footage of one of the optional extras, which is the kitchen island. Ooh. Also, Shropshire Homes are offering this island as Ooh. a kitchen upgrade. Um, now, I can feel the quality in this worktop. It really is stunning. And it just is really, really functional. Um, so obviously you could have just a regular table in here, but I think this really maximises the space. What do you think? Definitely. I mean, I love a kitchen island. Yeah. There is. What um, have we got in this? Well, let's have a look. So we've got some drawers. Ooh. Got some drawers? Yeah. No, that's really stunning. Uh, so they're really handy. Um, nice size. Yeah. Really yeah. Perfect. I like, I like the colour as well. We so, do. Yeah, there will be colour options. Yeah, because normally what you see in the island is just some cupboards, but yeah. it's nice to actually have the drawers mm -hmm. there as well. And there's a nice thing. Well, that will have shelves as well. Mm, yeah. And around this side is the breakfast bar area. Ah, there so we go. We're so you going can... to have some stools. So if I just pull up one of these stools here, you'll be able to see, for example, how you could sit at the island. You could, you could sit there or around the side. Yeah. And that's really good. So obviously you've got... Um, children that want to sit on the stools, do their work at, at the island rather than the table. I think that's a really good option. Uh, also, it's really good for baking. Oh, yes. <laughs> or doing any kind of cooking. Or just extra surface space, really. Yeah. So, yeah, I think this is a really worthy upgrade. And there's space here at the side. And look, there's a plug. Now, you could put pet food. Yeah. Kitty water fountain. Yeah, if you want an additional bin, there is space for it there. Plenty of space. Now, let's have a look in these cupboards. So, so in fridge. a nice grey tone, they're all integrated. Fridge freezer. So who's it made um, by? I don't think it has. Oh, Hot Point. Hot Point. Hot Point. Hot Point. A discreet logo. It's Hot Point. And there is, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is a kind of wood grain, wood in, grain. This, in this cupboard choice. Oh, we can just about get it. Yeah, I mean, do check your sales advisor for the different cupboard choices, because uh, there is quite a few. Oh, that's handy. There's a plug at the back. Oh, very handy. Yeah, so if you've got anything that needs plugging in, there's space there. So you've got, again, matching um, appliances. You've got the hot plug microwave. Yeah, it's a microwave combi oven? I think it's a microwave combi oven. Very nice and solid. And you have, of course, the... Oven uh, and grill? Yeah, fan oven grill. And a cupboard beneath. Perfect. Okay, so you've got quartz worktop. Yeah, this that's standard. Standard in the Grasmere. You've got cupboards above. And now I think this might be one of those corner cupboards. Yeah, yes. Oh, there we go. So you can get right in there. Yeah, I like you? that. That's, that's handy. It's like a corner larder cupboard. Yes, like that. There we go. They're soft clothes as well. Ah. Look. Oh, there we love go. it. Lovely. Um, oh, another, another one. one. That's handy. That's I very like handy. That. I do like it. And then you've got there as well. So the hob, I think, is a gas hot point and yep. a hot point extractor. You've got your pan drawers. There we go. And we have... More cupboard space. Will this be another corner? It I will. Okay, I really like that. That's yeah. really handy. And there's lots of space to play in the corner for kettle if you want that. Um, again, they've got like a recipe book here, so plenty of space. Um, under sink cupboard. Perfect. We all need one. We do. <laughs> so obviously with, with this worktop, it's like integrated stainless steel into it. And this is a sink and a half with a mixer tap. Overlooking the garden as well. Lovely. We'll have a look at that in a moment. I'm hoping this is dishwasher. Dishwasher. Hey, yeah. dishwasher. Okay. Hot point again. Hot point. Yeah, looking well, in the other kitchen that we looked at in the island, they did have a wine cooler on the end oh, yes, as well. Oh, yes, there's a wine cooler. So, yeah, so if you do have the opportunity, well, you will have the opportunity to have uh, the island upgrade, it's definitely worth considering. Look up on the ceiling, mm -hmm. there is many downlights. Many downlights. And mm -hmm. we still have three more cupboards. We do. Have we? Have I missed yeah. some? Oh, yes. Top ones. <laughs> I missed some. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so, cupboards. more storage, more storage, and, and oh, big one. There we go. 
Because that's normally where a boiler goes. So where's the boiler? Well, I did see a utility room. Ah, there we go. Um, but there is space for table. Yeah. Let me just close this door because... It is a huge space. Yeah, I mean, if you have an island, there is still space for a table. Yeah. And there is still space for maybe a sofa or a chair as well. Yeah. So this really is a, a kitchen, dining, living space. Yeah. Oh, and closing that door as well revealed hidden door. And what is that? Oh, the lid. Ooh. Secret <laughs> door. There's a secret door. Secret door. Cupboard. Yeah, okay. With a couple of chairs in it. <laughs> yeah, because they've actually only got four chairs on display, but this is actually a six-seater yeah. table, so it shows how big the room is. But it's quite good at showing the depth of the cupboard, actually, as well. Yeah, it's quite so handy. It's obviously under the stairs. Yeah, um, you've got your fuse box there, yeah. and there's, a, there's quite a few plugs as well, and some internet points as well. I mean, most people have those cordless vacuums these yeah. days. I would have it hanging on the wall in here, because there's plugs. Uh, you also put your ironing board, mop bucket, additional coats, Kids' toys, pram, you could push a pram in there. You could. You know, if, you, if you're wondering where to put stuff like that. So, lots of options there. Big radiator. I love the wallpaper. Mm, it's lovely. And like, it's, it kind of matches the living room. Yeah, it's, it's like winter flowers. Yes. That have gone to seed. Now, you've got French doors going over the garden. Now, this is an example of a standard garden. Yeah. Um, so, this is kind of what you get. Like I said, there is the option of having the office pod. There is. I'm actually, should we insert the footage now? Let's insert the footage this now. This is what you could have. This is a really amazing surprise. You can purchase a, a pod. pod, a home office or whatever building pod. It's going to take a yeah. look. I do want to say, it from even from the outside, it does look really nice because normally yeah. when you see one of these, it kind of just looks like, you know, like one of those school outbuildings. Yeah, I mean, this is really special to have as an optional upgrade. And yeah. Let's just feel the quality. Proper wood? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. This is a solid structure. Let's go in. So, first of all, you have, look at this, like a little... A composite? Yeah, it looks like composite, um, like, a, like a deck. The glide, that is a solid door. Is it a good glide? Yeah. A solid door. Ooh. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh, it does smell nice. It smells like, smells like a wooden, oh. um, like when you have a new garden building and it's really, yeah. really smells gorgeous. Oh, wow. Just look around. This is a proper good little wow. office space. So I think Shropshire homes are very, very forward thinking yeah. in offering a pod like this because it has such a variety of uses. I mean, the main one, I think, is people, the rise of people working from home. Definitely. We all know why people yeah. are working from home more often. Um, but this is an ideal space to be able to have that separation between home and work, because you yeah. really can leave the house, come to work. <laughs> yeah. You can bring a flask of coffee. You can have your own tea and coffee making facilities in here. It has electric to it. And it even has a heater. Uh, yeah, it has a heating, but, so you are cold. Yeah, there's even a fuse box in the corner, yeah. just in case. So you don't yeah. have to come traipsing back into the house if the yeah, power does go. This, this is lovely. So it's all insulated, heating, lighting, electrics. Um, this is really cool. What would you use this space for? Let us know in the comments. But obviously this is done out kind of like home office, hobby room. Could also be a children's den, teenage den. What else could it be used for? Anything. Anything Literally you wanted. Anything. Um, so I'm going to have a little sit and see what it looks like. Ah, yes. Now this is nice because come over here and have a look at what I can see. So you can look out onto your own garden. You can. Um, so you can still feel connected to the house, which yeah. I like. So when you're working here, although you're away from the house, you don't feel isolated. You don't no. feel too separated. If you want the toilet, you can just pop in. <laughs> no, this is really lovely. What do you think? I think it's really good. It's so good to have that separation from home and work absolutely. as well. You can close the door at this at five o'clock and that'd be it. Yeah, absolutely. So I would say check with your Shropshire Homes sales rep in terms of costings. Um, but this is an amazing extra that I think people would really benefit from. Definitely. So yeah, so if you think that you would be interested in this, check it out. So plenty of space for the office pod in the garden. I like the fences as well. Yeah. Um, looks very quality fences. <gasps> pampas grass. You and your pampas grass. Oh, they're good. Feel the pampas. 
Does that is that nice? It's not a nice feeling. It's, it's grassy. It's grassy. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Do, are you a fan of the pampas grass trend? Let us know. Okay, so going through into the utility room. Ooh. I like the utility space. It's, the, the utility space is always one of my most favourite spaces. Because it's a working space and I don't know, I just think it's like the heart of the home. Yeah. It's the unsung hero of the home. And this has a really nice one. Oh, Valiant Boiler. Valiant Boiler, which is a very good quality boiler. Uh, it's an EcoFit Sustain, which I think is good. Now, you've got space for double appliances. Excellent. So, a uh, washing machine, a tumble dryer. And I quite like this configuration where you've got a cupboard in the middle separating yeah. them. You've got a stainless steel sink. This is a laminate worktop. And there's extra cupboard on the side. You don't normally see this. This is quite a big utility. Yeah, lots of shelves. Yeah, like, it's a lot of cupboard. Yeah, but so it's perfect as well for like your space. washing detergents and fabric Absolutely. conditioners. And there's but, a, a door onto the garden with a radiator, and it's got a nice glass panel. Yeah. Which you can see out into the garden. I like this. It's beautiful. It's a really nice beautiful mm. thing. Okay. Spotlights above as well, so plenty of light. And then we oh, have a downstairs loom. Oh, okay. This is lovely. Mm. So you've got a proper ventilation window. Um, there is plenty of space to put your toilet brushes again. We always talk about toilet brushes, but there we is do. space for them. You know, it's, you've it's, got to it's, think about these things. It's quite a wide toilet. Yeah. There's space for extra toilet rolls, there's space for your bleach, there's space for your toilet brushes. This is nice. And a decent sized sink. Yeah. What? Some beautiful wallpaper. Yeah, you don't need a big sink in the downstairs, so you're doing no. so the only thing you should be doing in this is washing no. your hands. It's deep. Yeah. Which is all you really need. So when you run your water, it's deep going yeah. in there. So that is lovely. I like this. This is very nice. Perfect. Look, I'm not banging my head on the light. No, <laughs> but you are tiny, so. <laughs> I'm not that tiny. I'm, I'm five foot ten with hair. That's increased since last time. <laughs> uh, and I'm just two inches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's perfect for me. Oh, right. wow, look at that globe light. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm. Okay, oh, also, I forgot this space here as well. Oh, wow, yeah. I could put, I don't know what I'd put there, a drinks trolley. <gasps> yes. That would be amazing. And there's extra plugs as well. Perfect. Okay, so, let's head upstairs. Okay, so welcome to the upstairs of the Grassmere. Shall we go left? Let's go left. Let's go left. Right, but actually, before, let's just have a look down. And it's actually quite a nice um, look down the stairs, isn't it? It is, yeah. And quite a nice, spacious feeling hallway. It is. I like, quite like the light, even though yeah. I have to bang my head on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to have as low a dangly one. Um, but yeah, shall, let's just go in here. Ooh. 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 Wait till you see in here. So. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> I'm not sure what number bedroom this is. No. But look. Wow. This is... So it's like... Um, it's a nautical thing. <laughs> We do like a nautical theme. Look at the light. I, this is special. That is cute. Yeah. The I mean, rope tied around it. Yeah, the interior designer has done such a good job in this room. Um, wow. I love this. So you've got obviously space for a big bed in here. Yeah. Because if you look down the side over here, there's enough space. Yeah, there's a wardrobe there. You could probably yeah. even have a fitted one in between the wall yeah, and the door. That is a perfect space for a fitted wardrobe. Um, you could have king size, probably super king in here. Probably, yeah. Um, this is nice. Ooh, it's gorgeous. Like it. This is interesting. Hmm, just a bit of panel. Yeah, it just adds a bit of interest. And you can also use it as, as shelving. Yeah, no, I like this room. Hmm, it's very cute. Yeah. Um, okay. There's a paddle board. <laughs> what is this? The net. It's like a squishy one. Yeah. It's probably something nautical theme and a hat. I will resist the temptation to try on the hat. Uh, but yeah, this room is nice. That would be a perfect space for a fitted wardrobe. Yeah. It's a perfect room for the cats. Yeah. With all the fish. <laughs> for the cats. That's really cute. I like that. It's metal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's move across. Okay, so I think this is the Ooh. smallest bedroom. <gasps> yeah. Oh, oh I wow. Want one of these. <laughs> I full absolutely want one of these. This princess. Is Look at this with the lights. Ah, full princess fantasy. Yes. Now this could also be for our cat Molly. <laughs> it could very easily. She is, she is literally our princess. 
But no, this room, I think, could... Actually, there's space there for possibly wardrobes, if you want to. Yeah, as a, as a walk-in wardrobe, yeah. office kind of setup. I think it would be a really good children's bedroom. Um, it could also be an office or a study. Yeah. And, or even a, a walk-in wardrobe. Because you could have wardrobes going across there, across mm. there. You could have them going across the whole way. Look at the... Look how it's um, all set up here. It's really oh, big. I'll look at the little desk. I know, and these. <laughs> oh, dear. They're cute. Cat ears. <laughs> yeah, we love some cat ears. Um, but no, and this little cork board. Isn't that really cute? Yeah. Um, and a day bed. So this is really an interesting because it shows what you can do. I mean, you could even be a gaming room if you've it got could. Um, teenage children. Because uh, you could have a little sofa bed in case someone comes to stay over, a friend, TV on the wall. This is a really nice space. Mm. I like it. And the colours are so cute. They are. This little princess canopy, I love it. <laughs> or a prince canopy. Yeah. Oh, this is a rainbow on the door. Oh. We should say that the doors in here are really good, feel like good quality. And the handles, they're kind of stainless steel. You've got the um, sort of panel effect on the doors. They look really, really good quality. Yeah. The switches as well. So they're the white switches. Let's go left. Ooh, family bathroom? Right, so this is obviously the family bathroom. So you have a bath, you've got a toilet, and you've got a sink. Now the sink, you have... Ooh, two, oh, it's a cupboard. It's a cupboard. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. So you can keep all your bits and pieces out of the way. Nice, hidden away. Uh, so this is an upgrade. It's a mirror with a light. Is it a cupboard? This yes, one. <laughs> there, there we go. Oh, it's got plugs and everything. Oh, that's really good. That's handy. Yeah, so you've got your shaver points all in there. That's really good. I like mm. that. And it feels like a good quality one. It There's does. plenty of spotlights above. So many spotlights. And you've even got a double window. Yes, which is really handy for ventilation. Um, now the shower over here. So it's a concertina screen with a rainfall shower above. Which we I don't like. often see a rainfall shower no. in the family bathroom. I, I don't think I've seen, or we I don't think we've no. seen, a rainfall shower above a bath No. Before. So this is something special. It is. <laughs> something we haven't seen before. Now, in this example, there is full height tiling. Tiling, can you get really close to that tiling? Because... You can see the hexagons. Yeah, it's got a really subtle kind of shape and it's like a matte texture. So I think that would be really easy to clean. Perfect. You've got your white towel rail. It's a huge towel rail. Yeah, now we normally see these in like a, a chrome or like a yeah. silver. I actually prefer it in white. Yeah, it's nice. I do actually prefer it. I think it's, um, I think it's, 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 it's different, but it's, I prefer it. I yeah. really do. Oh, look at the whale tail. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also you've got a very nice deep window ledge where you can put things if you want to. And interesting attention to detail, they do have a stopper. Oh, there we go. Which is good to stop the door from banging. I like this. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, and you've got the extractor fan overhead as well. Yeah, and obviously tile floor. Yeah, perfect. This is quite a good size family bathroom. It's a lovely bathroom. Yeah. Okay, cupboard. Ooh. Ah, here we go. So you've got your big old water heater tank. Yeah. But you've also got shelves. Yeah, I like the way that they've put all the workings to the side. So yeah. you've still got space for storage. You do, and there's quite a lot of storage. It. Yeah, I like that. Um, we've mentioned the loft hatch, haven't we? No. Oh, loft hatch above. Loft hatch. <laughs> Ta -da. I thought we mentioned it. Okay, let's go into here. Ooh, okay. Ooh, so it's another big bedroom. Yeah, I like the colours. Yeah. It's very kind of pastel, it's very relaxing. It is. There are bunny rabbits on the wall. Who doesn't love some bunnies? And there's also a fitted wardrobe. Yeah. How about that for maximising <laughs> the space? So this is an upgrade. And obviously it's um, a rail and a shelf. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's basically making use of the alcove, I imagine that there is something on the other side of this wall. Ooh. So it's kind of making double use of the space. Um, lamps, down. I like a substantial lamp. You do, that is a substantial lamp. This is a chunky substantial lamp, I love it. Uh, the bedside tables, they're like those um, fold out trays. Yeah. I like those. Just where do you put your pants though? <laughs> you could have a regular bedside table, but I, I do like this. Mm. Um, it's almost, Wait, the other room was very beachy, and this yeah. is carrying on that kind of wood. It is. It's, it's, it's more country, 
but it's coming on the kind of theme with the wood. Okay. I do really like these chest of drawers, actually. It's like yeah. a proper chest. Yeah, and Wicker is coming back in fashion now. Oh, I hate Wicker. <laughs> Wicker and Rattan is coming back. Now, in terms of bed, you could have a wider bed. I think this is a double, but you could have a king. Yeah, you could easily. Super king. Yeah, and I think it's a full-size bed as well. Yeah. Right, let's carry on to what I believe must be the master bedroom. Yeah. So, ooh. ooh. Oh, hello. <laughs> I see an ensuite. Yeah, we'll go there in a minute. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, this is lovely. It's gorgeous. This is a nice, big, substantial room. Yeah, it's very bright. It's yeah. very airy. We've got another pair of really stunning bedside lights. Uh, so you've, you've got your proper bedside table here. So you're going to take your pants, that's fine. Um, and again, you could have as big a bed as you wanted in here. I like this. It's very mm. calming. It's very relaxing. Yeah. I love this light fitting. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we've seen one similar to this, have we? No. I like that. Um, you've got space for a glam station, maybe over here. You've even got space for a little seating area. Now, the windows, we should say. So these are these windows open out that way. Um, so actually, you've got quite a lot of opening for ventilation, which I like. Um, okay, wow. Should we have a look in the wardrobe? Yes. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Let's have a peek. So, so oh, okay, so it's exactly the same again. Yeah, so you've got, got clothes rail, rail and cupboard, above. cupboard above. It's actually quite a deep cupboard above. It is. Maybe that's what we in ah, uh, because that other building wardrobe will go the other side here. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's making use of the full space. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now you've got a, also a Honeywell home thermostat. Handy. So that probably controls up here. Yeah. Um, and let's go in Ooh, to ensuite. the ensuite bathroom. Okay. Okay, so we've got sink and toilet. These are by yeah. Vitra. Mm. And I've just noticed this is a Briston tap, which is Ooh. a very good quality tap. Yes. Make of tap. You've got the shower point. You do. Now, if this was your house, you could choose to put another mirrored cabinet above if you wanted to. Toilet, there is space for a laundry basket. There is. Radiator, obviously, small window for ventilation. Perfect, and an extractor fan. Yeah, and another rainfall shower. <laughs> and by the way, the shower's got a really nice glide to it as well, and a low-profile tray. That's so obviously you wouldn't have all that in the shower. No. <laughs> but, yeah, this is a really nice quality shower. And the tile as well, it's got some yeah. nice detailing on the tile. Yeah. No, this is, this is a nice one, sweet. It is, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Right, between these two houses then, we need to go pick our favourite room. So drop us a comment so you think where we'll end up. Yeah. But otherwise, we'll see you in a minute. What's our favourite room? Okay, so we have chosen for our favourite room... The Office Pod. Yeah, it's amazing. It it's, is. It's stunning. It's something different we haven't seen before. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just really nice to be in a space that sort of flows so well with the house. It does, and it just doesn't just look like something they've just decided to add on to the house. No, no, this is a real working yeah. or, or leisure space. I mean, one thing we forgot to mention, it could even be like a gym space. You could, could. have treadmill, exercise bike, could have anything like that, yoga yeah. studio, Yeah. If you, tea house. Oh, tea house. Wh whatever you want, this is such a versatile, functional room. It is, it's perfect. Yeah, and also, I mean, it was quite hard to choose between this and other rooms of the house. Oh, yeah. Um, we also really enjoyed the kitchen as well. That was we a did. really nice space. And obviously the island as an optimal upgrade is another... Yeah, um, I think it's a worthwhile <laughs> addition, I think. Yeah. Um, this house in general, I think, could appeal to a wide range of people. If this house has piqued your interest, we would advise you to just go and have a look at the show home. Full details are in the description box below. We would also like to say that we think Yvetsi Fields is a really good location. The development itself is stunning. It is. It is absolutely beautiful. Do yeah. go and check it out. Yes, yeah, honestly, we keep saying it, but honestly, go and check it out. If you do book a viewing, do let the sales rep know that we sent you. Yeah. If you've liked what you've seen, don't forget to give us a big old thumbs up. Hit that bell and subscribe button so you get notified of all future videos. And from us in Yvetsi Fields, we'll mm -hmm. see you all and goodbye. Bye.